This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Netflix. Welcome to Techzilla Bites, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton, and we got a great question from Gary, who tweets at Techzilla, how do you remove Google apps like YouTube from Android without rooting? Love the show, thanks. Well, Gary, let us turn to our resident Android maven, Mr. Michael Han. Hey, Michael, why doesn't the phone allow me to uninstall anything I want to? So this is probably a good thing that Google doesn't want you to uninstall system apps because system apps usually make the core functions of the phone work. Okay. So you don't want people going and like trying to free up space and then deleting the part of the phone the that phone makes dialer. phone calls. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so in most cases to remove system apps, you have to actually root the phone. But there is a way in Ice Cream Sandwich or later to disable apps mm -hmm. so that you never really see them. They're still there, but you don't have to encounter them at all. It's kind of like changing file associations in my operating system. If I click on this kind of file, it's yeah. going to open up the file I want, not the one that Microsoft or Apple picked. Exactly. So the way to do this, it's really easy. You go into Settings, and then Apps, and then go to the All tab. That'll show all of the services, all of the apps on your phone and then find the application that you want to disable. In this case, we'll do YouTube. Click Disable. And then because YouTube's a system app that also gets updates from the Play Store, this is kind of like a two-step process that mm -hmm. the first time you hit Disable, it reverts back to the factory version of YouTube. And then you wait a second, and then you can hit Disable, and it'll actually disable it. Wow. Yeah, it no longer shows in your apps, and the only time that you'll ever encounter an app that you'll disa you disabled is if you actually go to the Disabled Apps tab. <laughs> Otherwise, it's out of sight, out of mind, really. And can I reassign, say, features if I want to use a different Maps program or something like that? Yeah, and with that, you don't even have to disable the app. You could just go into the App Info page, mm -hmm. and then there's even a part that says uh, Launch by Default, and you just clear the default, and then the next time you open like a different map application, sure. you can set it to be the default. And it will take over for all yeah. time. So, so don't disable everything <laughs> if you want to change the associations. Just do it that way. But if you want to get rid of like carrier bloatware, stuff like that, Disabling is the way to go. Hope that helps everybody. Oh, I wish I could do this on iOS. And thanks to Michael Hamm for sharing his information. And if you want to see more Techzilla Bytes, head to techzilla.com or subscribe at youtube.com slash techzilla. We do product reviews, news, tips, and more. Tell us what you want to see and we'll deliver it. Techzilla at revision3.com or at techzilla on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Have you signed up for Netflix yet? Netflix is amazing. Content for the kids, content for you, thousands of movies and TV shows, both recent and classic. Watch it from the comfort of your couch or just about any smartphone anywhere. And you can get a free 30-day trial membership. Just go to netflix.com slash techzilla and do us a favor, use netflix.com slash techzilla so that they know we sent you.